Well, hello, soul family, beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is a Sunday, 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 <laughs> September 15th of 2024. So happy Sunday to all of you out there. I hope you are all doing so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right. So it is another, uh, Satisfying Sunday. <laughs> uh, there are so many S words that can describe a Sunday, but I always seem to stick with super. And I always do that with Saturday too, so I'm going to need to expand my S. <laughs> my S word vocabulary. So I, I do add sumptuous in there sometimes because uh, that's a great one. But yeah, happy Sunday. All right. Uh, feeling good today. Got up, got out and t took a nice walk. And I mean, it's seriously like, I mean, it's warm. It's still warm here in Florida. So the, uh, you know, still, still waiting for the seasons to change here, <laughs> but all right. Our affirmation is from the auric field of the mental body and check out the healing symbol card number 20. I lovingly observe the free flow of my thoughts. I lovingly observe the free flow of my thoughts. So, yeah, so I have actually been doing that lately. I've just been observing my thoughts, trying to not hold on, trying to not hold on. Oh my gosh. Why does that not sound right? Trying to not hold on to any, to any of them, <laughs> allowing them to just flow freely and not judging them, not, you know, um, um, like grounding them into like my being or anything, just simply allowing, like one thing is like that I've noticed is that I do have to remind myself to just allow my thoughts to flow because we are taught in society to like anything that we think of, like it has to be true. It has to be real, but Sometimes things just pop up or just come out because they just need to come out. And so it's not until you grasp onto them and hold onto them and keep them for yourself and make them a part of you that, you know, then they become, you know, <sighs> toxic to you. And so if we just allow our thoughts to flow, just you know, remind ourselves of that. Oh, I have to sneeze one second. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So, yeah, it's about reminding ourselves <clears throat> to allow our thoughts to flow freely, not to hold on to them because our mind is always running. And until we have reprogrammed ourselves to not hold on to thoughts, then I think at least reminding ourselves to allow, to allow our thoughts to flow freely. That's a great start. And so, yeah. All right. So let's read what the book has to say. Number 20, I lovingly observe the free flow of my thoughts. Meaning, this is meditative contemplation. Be an attentive and yet uninvolved spectator on the shores of your stream of thoughts. Love each drop of thought within it equally and perceive everything there with precision. But, to the same degree, do not cling to anything. 
This is how you can heal the structures of your thinking and later also the divine spark that connects your soul with the creative force once it has been liberated into a blazing flame. Love it. Healing Stone, Rose Quartz, Fragrance Essence, Neroli, Box Flower, Vine. So, yeah, it's really all about just observing our thoughts, lovingly observing them. And when we don't take any of them too seriously, when we're just allowing them to flow, I mean, you can have a pretty good time with, like, <laughs> um, seeing what pops up in your mind and... <laughs> not even asking why but just like giggling at some of the thoughts that like wow that was like kind of random but okay keep going you know <laughs> don't not holding on to it and so the more that we practice this the more natural it becomes to us and then we start to you know um be able to just like divinely filter what we need and don't need in our mind is what I'm feeling with that. So yeah, observing the free flow of our thoughts. And yeah, that's a great reminder as well. So uh, yeah, so are you holding on to your thoughts? Are you keeping things in your mind that are not beneficial to you or... Because remember that saying that thoughts become things. So if you're, you know, if you can hold on to a negative thought, you can also hold on to a positive thought. So choose which ones you hang on to because you can equally hang on to a positive thought as much as you can hang on to a negative one. So ask yourself, if you're hanging on to negative thoughts or whatever, ask yourself why you're hanging on to those ones versus the positive ones. Because everyone should be able to hold positive thoughts in their mind. So, all right, beautiful people. This has been another of our affirmations. I hope you all found something that resonates with you. And if you did, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. And if you feel like someone else can use this message today, then go ahead and share the video with someone that you love. <laughs> um, but if you're subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your journey. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you all in the next one.